On this Tuesday, the 15th of September, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory Glory to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore Him. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalms this morning are Psalms 61 and 62, beginning on page 668. Psalms 61 and 62, beginning on page 668. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends of the earth, with heaviness in my heart, set me upon the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in your house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. At length of days to the king's life, let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So will I always sing the praise of your name, and day by day I will fulfill my vows. For God alone my soul in silence waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail me to crush me, all of you together, as if you were a leaning fence, a toppling wall. They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone my soul waits in silence. Truly my hope is in Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be shaken. Is God in my safety and my honor, God is my strong rock and refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales they are lighter than a breath, all of them together. Put no trust in extortion, in robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to his deeds. Glory to To the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and and will will be be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that Jesus was in Bethany, they came, not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priest planned to put Lazarus also to death, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The next day, a great crowd who had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young ass and sat upon it, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on an ass's colt. 
His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that this had been written of him and had been done to him. The crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet him was that they heard he had done this sign. The Pharisees then said to one another, You see that you can do nothing. Look, the whole world has gone after him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Zechariah, page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. The prayers beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Loving God, give to your church the grace of knowing the depths of your love, that like your servant C Catherine of Genoa, we might give ourselves in loving service to others, knowing that we have been perfectly loved by you. And bring us at last to that perfect vision of your glory to which you have called all of your children, through Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. We continue to give thanks for the cross of Christ, for his sacrifice and example. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, give us courage to take up our cross and follow him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And finally, we also pray for our schools, students, families, and teachers. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, enlightened by your Holy Spirit, those who teach and those who learn, that rejoicing in the knowledge of your truth, they may worship you and serve you from generation to generation through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.